hello everyone and welcome back. So as you probably see my title right, what, what if uh, Mercury orbited um, uh, Saturn? As you can see, I have Saturn right here and all of its uh, moons. All uh, 60 something moons, I'm pretty sure. I forgot how many moons Saturn's had. Um, oh, I know it's a lot. 62 maybe? I don't know. Let's go grab Mercury. There we go. Because I don't really know where to put Mercury. I don't know if I should put it in the inner kind of where here or in, kind of out here kind of where Titan is. I'm gonna put more here. I get to orbit to on an angle. Of course, this won't be the best because Saturn's on an angle and I can't really get Mercury on that same angle. Alright, Mercury is now a moon of Saturn. So I'm pretty sure Titan is bigger than Saturn, or at least. I mean, bigger than Mercury, excuse me. Um, if I can... Okay, here we go. Now, let's see. A lot of moons here. T yeah. Titan is bigger than Mercury. I think Mercury still has, like, more mass. So, nothing is really happening so far. I don't know if I should move it closer. I'll speed up time and see if anything happens. Everything in the hour here is a bit shaky. But nothing too crazy. Let's move out Mercury closer. It doesn't seem to be affecting Rhea or anything. Let me just, uh, just quickly out a little bit. Out a little bit. Move it downwards. This is kind of hard, I don't know. Yeah, try that again. Get out of orbit? Let's see. I'm not really wanted to put it there, out of orbit. Eh. Yeah, whatever. That should be fine. Alright. Mercury's now an inner kind of system here. Still nothing seems to be really happening. There is movement. Oh yeah, look at the orbits here. Let's see. Yeah. So like Pan and some of these other tinier moons orbits are sort of changed like Atlas. I didn't realize Rhea wait no, it's not Rhea. Well this moon, whatever or however you say it. It's a bit weird. Uh, speed up time. Yeah, it's, that one's changing a lot. Is that Mercury? No, that's Exceladus. Ooh. Let's so, um, Exceladus. Exceladus is getting pushed out a little bit here. Or I should, or should say, can really pushed out. So almost where Iapetus is. Where's our Mercury here? Mercury, right? I'm gonna move it even closer to create some more chaos, cause we all love chaos, don't we? Now it's like in the inner, pretty much, where all these really small moons are. So yeah, you can see a lot of the orbits here are starting to go all, all over the place. What's this moon? Um, in, in the, in the? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, another one here, what's that? Uh, that's, I thought those was Tethys. No, it's just this one, which I... Not even going to try to say. Oh, whoa, what was that? Oh, wow. Oh, wow, I didn't realize a whole bunch of moons were actually ejected. Where are they located? So we got this tiny little asteroid moon, moon, which is only 58 kilometers. Oh, no, Pan. There goes Pan. We got this one moon right here. It's was able to hang on. 
It's only commercially it's three kilometers wide. It's a pretty far orbit. Just barely passes Pluto. Alright, let's go back to Saturn here. And this Mercury causes chaos. Looks like uh, Exceldus did kind of come back a tiny bit. Oh, what was that? Oh, yeah, and this one right here also in a pretty stable orbit. Doesn't seem to be much happen. I guess we just speed up time some more. There's this one moon right here that's or very close. Yeah, this one. So we also got Pandora. So outer system here is shaking like crazy. Where's Mercury? It's right here. Alright, let's move it again. Just nothing seems to be happening. Auto orbit. Alright. Oh. Did another one escape? Oh. There's a whole bunch of ejected moons here. I'm gonna speed up time as fast as I can, which is only around five to four months here. Seems to be really happening. What is this? I already say that one. I think this is. I think this is the smallest. The smallest moon of uh, Saturn here, actually. I, re I remember this name. Don't know how to pronounce it, but I remember seeing it. It's only 0 0.3 kilometers wide. It is pretty small for a moon. Unnamed moon here it has a very weird orbit. I think that's really just what's gonna happen. Not much. I have an idea here. A very dumb idea. I'm gonna um, purposely send Mercury into a uh, Saturn here just to see if that does anything. time here. Alright, here we go. Boom. Alright. Now, did that screw anything up? Nope. <laughs> it did not screw anything up. Everything is just working just fine. Well, um, this is pretty much it. So, what happens at a whole bunch of moons got ejected, some of them got an alright orbit, like this one here, but crosses, crosses back into Saturn's orbit. Um, the outer system of Saturn here is doing alright, no, nothing really changed. Iapetus is fine, so is Titan and um, Hyperion. Tethys, this orbit looks a bit weird. Uh, be honest, the inner solar system, uh, the solar system, the inner system Saturn here is all messed up from Mercury. Got a whole bunch of moons or in very close to Saturn here. It's so, oh, around uh, 80,000 kilometers. It's pretty close. Yeah, um, this is the end of this video. If you have any ideas for me or video ideas for me, uh, please comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.